following problem. So we're going to use the quotient rule. So starting off, ddx, we're going to take the derivative of the numerator starting off times the denominator. Oops. Minus, and then the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. All right, so what this ends up being, the derivative on top, so it's gonna be derivative, derivative of the constant five, zero, minus cosine, so that's negative, negative sine, so that ends up being positive sine of x times the five plus sine of x minus five minus cosine x, and then der the derivative of five plus sine of x is gonna be just cosine of x all over 5 plus sine of x squared. All right, so what this ends up being is um, 5 sine of x plus sine squared of x minus 5 cosine of x. And got to be careful here. We're distributing the minus sign, so this becomes positive cosine squared x. I'm not going to write the denominator yet, but what we have is 5 sine of x minus 5 cosine of x plus sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x. This is a trig identity, it's equal to one. So we have five sine of x minus five cosine of x plus one all over five plus sine of x squared. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and you have yourself a great day.